हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स लर्न इंटेजर्स सो व्हाट इंटेजर्स आर इंटेजर्स आर नथिंग बट नंबर्स सो व्हाट टाइप ऑफ नंबर्स वी आर कमिंग अक्रॉस मेनी टाइप ऑफ नंबर्स इन आवर डे टू डे लाइफ वी आर यूजिंग एज काउंटिंग एंड ऑल दोज काउंटिंग नंबर्स आर नेचुरल नंबर्स वी नो बिफोर एंड वन वी आर एडिंग जीरो With this natural number set, we are getting another set that is whole number set. And how we are using those numbers? Let's discuss. We are using those numbers. Suppose we are recording the temperature of a desert, maybe forty-five degrees Celsius. When we are going to record the temperature of a cold place, suppose Antarctica, it may be negative forty-five degrees Celsius. So what about this negative sign? The negative sign indicate that this one is less than. Zero or it is the temperature is below zero degree Celsius. Now let's learn this integers on number line. So what are integers? Let's start with number line. A number line already we have learned that when we are representing those whole numbers or natural numbers, we may say that this is number ray because they are starting from a fixed number but here the number line for integers it never start from one number or never end in any one number particular one number so we may say that this one is number line this number line includes whole numbers whole number started from zero and when we are writing back up zero that means before zero or less than zero number we are indicating the negative sign that is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 all these numbers here all these numbers are negative of natural numbers so when we are taking all the numbers as a whole that numbers are integers that means all the whole numbers are integers and the negative of the natural numbers are the integers now all those natural numbers are positive integers and the left of all those let left side of zero all are the negative integers so what about zero Zero is neither negative nor positive. Do you know what is the difference between two consecutive whole numbers? Zero, one, two. The consecutive integers. The difference is always one. So when we are moving right of zero, we are getting one one number more. But when we are moving left of zero, we are getting less. One one number, the values are decreasing by one one. So, what are those numbers which are not including, which are not included in integer set? Suppose half. You know that half is one fraction. It is in between zero and one. Or we are getting more fractions in between two uh, whole numbers. So, can we include those numbers in integer set? No. those numbers are not included in this integer set now let us compare the integers already we have learnt that zero is the smallest whole number and zero is less than any of the positive integer but zero is greater than the negative zero is the greater than the negative integers because this is present right of that negative integers and suppose we are comparing two negative integers suppose negative 1 and negative 2 which one is greater obviously when we are representing those numbers on that number line the number which is present right on the number line that one is greater so negative 1 is the greatest or biggest or most uh, which is the largest negative integer now let's learn the operations on 
integers let's start from addition how we are adding two integers when we are adding on number line we have to move right to add one positive integer but when we are adding a negative integer we must have to move back because positive and negative are just opposite now let's take one example and add on number line suppose we are adding a positive integer on number line we have to move right already we have discussed now and we know that in between two integers one one difference let us take one example negative 2 plus 4 we have to add 4 with negative 2 that means we have to move right of negative 2 4 place right then where we are reaching positive 2 that means the sum is positive 2 now addition of negative integer already we have learned that when we are adding negative integer we have to move back so when we are adding negative 6 by 4 we have to move 6 place left and where we are reaching that is the sum now we are getting the sum as negative 2 now when we are adding two positive integers always we are getting one positive integer and when we are adding two negative integers always we are getting one negative integer that means the sum of two positive is positive the sum of two negative is always negative now how to subtract of integers let us subtract a positive integer it is nothing but a subtraction on number line or subtraction of natural numbers suppose we are subtracting uh, positive 6 from 4 then we have to move left on that number line Th this is the same process as subtraction subtracting a positive integer means the subtraction of that natural numbers now suppose 4 minus 6 that means from 4 we have to move back 6 places where we are reaching that is the result we are getting negative 2 that means negative 2 is the result now let us subtract a negative integer suppose we have to take we have to move left to um, subtract a negative integer let us take one example negative 2 minus negative 4 here I am explaining one thing more dear students when this negative sign when we are using this sign negative here this is the negative here this is the subtraction here this is the negative 4 the sign which we are using as negative the same sign we are using for subtraction also so here it is negative 2 minus negative 4 negative 2 minus negative 4 so this is the reverse process or this is the addition of 4 also we can say now how to do on that number line on that number line now we have to move right so come to negative 4 we have to move right means 4 place right where we are getting the number what we are getting the number that is the result so negative 2 minus negative 4 is negative 2 sorry positive 2 now let us know about the absolute value what do you mean by absolute value absolute value of a number means irrespective to the sign only the numerical value is the absolute value that means how much unit distance it from the zero that is the absolute value of that number irrespective to the direction suppose we are taking a number negative 5 what is the absolute value of negative 5 5 because it is 5 unit distance from zero 
द डिस्टेंस फ्राम फाइव इज ऑल्सो द फाइव यूनिट सो द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ नेगेटिव फाइव ऑल्सो फाइव एंड पॉजिटिव फाइव ऑल्सो फाइव सो द ओनली वी आर टेकिंग द न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू एज एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू एंड द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू वी आर यूजिंग इन एडिशन ऑफ इंटेजर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट साइन वैन वी आर टेकिंग द टू डिफरेंट नंबर्स वन पॉजिटिव एंड अनादर नेगेटिव देन हाउ वी आर एडिंग वी हैव टू टेक द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ ईच नंबर एंड हुज एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू इज मोर वी हैव टू टेक द साइन इन द सम and how much it is greater that one we have to find so let us take one example suppose we are adding two numbers with the same absolute value negative 5 and positive 5 negative 5 is also the absolute value is 5 and positive 5 also absolute value is 5 so when we are adding these two numbers which one is whose absolute value is more both are equal that's why when we are adding these two we are getting always zero now when we are adding negative 5 with positive 3 then whose absolute value is more negative 5 the absolute value is more so we have to take the sign of sum as negative because the absolute value of negative is more and here how much more two more that's why the sum is negative 2 another way suppose negative 5 why no we are negative 5 what do you mean by negative 5 negative 5 means five number of negatives and po positive 3 means three numbers are positive now when we are cancelling one negative with another positive one negative with another positive one negative with another positive then all this will be zero and what is left here negative 2 that's why the result is negative 2 in this way you can add the numbers of different now multiplication of two integers when we are multiplying two integers we have to just multiply like whole numbers but we have to consider the sign of the product when we are multiplying two positive integers always we are getting the result as positive just like two natural numbers we know that positive integers means natural numbers so when we are getting the product we are getting the product of natural numbers but when we are multiplying two negative integers also we are getting the positive integers that means whenever we are multiplying the same sign of two integers we are getting always positive product now when there is one negative and one positive another one is positive and another negative posi uh, integers we are multiplying we are getting always the negative product now let's discuss we can multiply more than two integers so when there are more than two negative integers we know that positive integers means uh, just like uh, uh, natural numbers so as many as uh, we are multiplying uh, positive integers we are getting the positive integers now let us discuss about the negative integers when we are multiplying odd number of negative integers let us take three number of uh, three number is odd so three number of negative integers we are getting the result always negative but if we are multiplying the even number of negative integers we are getting the result as positive integers suppose we are multiplying two negative integers or four negative integers or even number of negative integers we are getting the product as positive integer now let us discuss about the division of integers division also the same process as whole numbers division only we have to decide the sign and the sign also the same as multiplication when we are dividing one positive integer by another positive integer we are getting positive only and when we are dividing a negative integer 
by another negative integer also we are getting the positive integer for example negative 20 divided by negative 10 we are getting 2 but when we are dividing a negative integer by another positive integer always we are getting the uh, quotient as negative and when we are dividing a positive integer by another negative integer we are getting the negative quotient so in this way we are doing the operations on integers hope you enjoyed learning thank you